backyard now. And my painting crew is painting the outside of our workshop. And this is all vapor barriered, uh, water and airtight. We've got our mill guard windows, which are dual hung, so they, they'll open up and they'll open down. And you can see the nice wood trim we have around them. We left the weep holes open so water can drain if water ever gets in. Okay, another thing that we did is remember that we have a air gap high. And we also have our air gap low down at the bottom. All the way across the whole bottom. All the way across the whole top. That allows our siding to be uncoupled from our insulation layer with a three quarter inch air gap and allows any time when this plywood actually gets wet, it's able to dry. We primered the back side of this siding material. So our roof assembly is also decoupled from our insulation layer. So everything has an air gap. Our siding has an air gap high and low and our roof has an air gap high and low. So we vented our roof and made a closed in cathedral ceiling inside of this workshop. Let me take you on inside and show you the vaulted ceiling and the work that we're doing in here. See, we have all of our beams masked off. We're sanding so we can get a nice little texture um, light orange peel. So we handmade three of these trusses to hold the roof together and the walls together so they wouldn't fall down. And right now my painter's getting everything prepped, ready to go for that. Once he's done sanding and then texturing, we'll paint the inside and then we'll finish up all of our electrical work. We've got a lot of electrical in here to do. But again, this floor was built with two by four flat on the concrete, then two by six floor joists, along with insulation in that cavity before we put down our plywood. We also have a vapor barrier underneath that, con on top of the concrete, but underneath our wood framing, and it's attached to the outside of the building. Okay, we also have a vapor barrier on the inside, or Intello Plus on the inside with Mento 1000 on the outside. So we got a complete sealed, watertight and airtight barrier system on the exterior and on the interior. So we don't have any problems with air and water intruding into our building. So our next step will be to get the sanding done and finish everything off in here. All right, we'll show you some finished progress once we get to that stage. 